While waiting for Europe to open up so we can sail south, we're out cruising in our home waters. Last week we couldn't sail, however, since the boat was stuck in ice. Now the temperature is back above zero and the ice is slowly starting to give way now, it's starting to melt. Uh, but the problem is that it has melted a little bit, like this much, around the whole boat. And today it's pretty windy, so the boat is kind of bouncing into that edge. So I'll try to crack the ice a bit further out, uh, all the way around the boat now to prevent that. can leave again. Planning on leaving tomorrow, heading up to uh, Tulekov, 22 nautical miles. We can have started to feel like our second home port. We really like it here and we are so thankful for the great hospitality from Håkan and his family. We woke up to a cloudy sky, but when we were ready to leave, it had evolved to thick fog. But now we just had to go. So we just have some lunch, Malin is down below now with Vera, trying to get her to sleep. We still have a lot of fog, it's actually even more thick now. The visibility is maybe, I don't know, yeah, maximum 100 meters. So I try to keep a good lookout. We have around 3.8 nautical miles until the Cape. No wind to talk about, and the little wind there are is still straight on the nose from the north. So hopefully the wind will pick up a little bit after the Cape, and also since we're changing the direction, the course we can sail, and uh, maybe who knows? Maybe this fog will burn off as well, but I doubt it. fog is still here, but at least we got some wind so we could sail. It's a bit spooky sailing when it's this foggy. I guess we have to connect the power to the radar soon.
So we're doing 4.7 knots now in 7 to 8 knots of apparent wind on a beam reach. So quite good sailing and the sea is flat. There is some swell coming out from the from the Kattegat. How much uh, do we have left? No, it's only a couple of miles now, four or five nautical miles left. <laughs> but it's really good sailing, flat seas. And we're doing right now five, 5.2. 5 so pretty good. Nice that we got some sailing today. Yeah, for sure. Hey. Oh, the up was back in. I don't know what she thinks about the, now when the boat is moving like this. <laughs> She's not used to it. <laughs> yeah, now the wind has picked up a little bit. We have um, 10 knots uh, apparent. Doing six knots, so really good sailing now. In thick fog like this, the chart become your eyes. Round two became a little icebreaker. But we didn't make it all the way to the dock because it was too shallow and we ran aground. Super friendly harbour master here. He started up the boiler, the water heater in the showers and opened that up for us. Really great. And he lended us an adapter for the power outlet here. Um, these smaller ones in some of the marinas are only on six amps and this is the case in this harbour. And that's not enough to heat the whole boat. But now we've got to borrow this adapter so we can hook it up to hook up our cable to this 16 amp outlet. So now we can heat the whole boat with electricity with 16 amps. And we don't have to use the diesel heater, so that's very nice. Tilikov is a real summer city or town there's not much happening here this time of the year everything is closed and Despite the slightly ghost town feeling, Turikov is a very cozy town. It's 
It's a pretty windy day, but sunny. We have 25 gusting to 30 today. We waded out the wind and went for a long walk instead. shower taking advantage of the water on shore shore water we're charging everything we can because now we're heading out to uh, the little island Hallandsvärdare and the weather today is beautiful it's been a cold night uh, some degrees below zero so it was just a little little thin layer of ice on the water it's just two nautical miles to the anchorage. Oh, actually, we're not gonna anchor. We'll, we'll moor against the ferry dock because the ferries are not going now. It's docked here next to us, so we can use the dock. The, the harbor master um, said that was a good idea, so we'll do that. What a morning! It's totally calm. It's been a super calm night, so the ice has been forming again during the night, so we're driving through some ice slush at the moment. We're heading to uh, a bay on the north side. That's where the big ferry dock is. Perfect dock to tie up to, but there is no shore power, water, or facilities here. We headed out immediately and tried the child carrier for the first time. I don't need the gloves anymore. It's actually pretty warm. There is no wind, at least not where we are. And uh, it's, I don't know, it feels like spring. The weather is just amazing. These days are so precious during the winter because there are quite few. It's like picture moment. I just love coming out in nature. Like, gone with all the traffic, noise, cars, like, industrial sounds, and now we just hear birds. So we're heading to Kappelham through the forest over here. And from what I read, this forest is like a primeval forest, I think it's called in English. 
so it has never been logged. So it's uh, quite unique and this whole island is pretty unique because there's a lot of different species on a very small area. So that's why it became a nature reserve in the 50s. It's pretty obvious from which direction most of the storms and heavy weather comes from. Southwest, these trees, all, most of the trees are leaning against the north, northeast. It's quite funny that there is nobody here and that's just because the ferry isn't going now during the winter. You know, I think it starts going in, um, at Easter but it's the island is so close to mainland Yeah. so you would think like a beautiful day as today that people would just take like their little motorboat over <laughs> But everyone takes out their boats out of the water for winter. So they can't come here with their own boat. Uh -oh. So I guess that's why we're all alone. It's kind of crazy. We have the whole island to ourselves. And it's beautiful here with the forests. And uh, and you can really feel, like Malin said, that spring is about to arrive. Yeah. So. In a few weeks from now, I guess it will be starting to be more green. Must be fantastic here when it's summer. Yeah. When you have all the leaves and everything. Really <laughs> attractive. This is the king's oak. And it's called that because King Oscar II used to have his uh, position during the hunts they, that they had at the time, at the end of the 1800s here on the island. And because this was his position, they named the oak after him. It's a really good view of our Turekal behind us. It's really close. So this is also an anchorage, Kappelham, and it uh, looks pretty protected. And if you have a smaller boat, uh, I think you can go against the rocks over there between the small, small islands. And here's the other dock. And I think the ferry stops here as well. Oh, 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 oh ferry is oh, oh. escaping now. Avoid it, beveg. What? Yeah, it looks like there's some fog rolling in. So I guess we better get going. It's still it's pretty cold in the wind here. 
and uh, yeah I guess it's because it's been so sunny today and it's still very cold in the water yesterday was uh, 1.5 celsius in the water and this morning there was some, uh, some ice on the water as well so but this place must be fantastic in the summer there are several like small beaches like this one they have the forest there's so much you can do you can really see the fog rolling in now and it's this damp raw and cold air is coming over it's getting really chilly now just covered the whole sky and it's just white and gray now the sun is gone the sun is gone and it's not so nice anymore <laughs> What a difference, just like 10 minutes later and you can only see like 100 meters or so. It goes so fast when the fog rolls in. How lucky are we to have this island to ourselves and to be here in this beautiful nature. So lucky. Thanks for watching and check out our Patreon page if you want to support our production.